All right, hi, and welcome to part two of building a dreadnought battleship. And uh, yeah, basically what we're going to do today is to build the front superstructure, the main batteries, also detail the hull completely, so uh, adding secondary batteries and stuff like that. And also I've added wooden decks since last time. As you can see, yeah, they don't want to do that on camera, let's just whatever and i'm just flying around to give you a bit of a view of how the ship looks because yeah uh maybe i was like this is pre-recorded maybe i was supposed to say something here that i don't remember but whatever all right so here you can see a main battery so that is supposed to be a double 305 millimeter. It's supposed to be looking a bit German because I like German batteries. And it took like 40 minutes to design a turret that I was actually happy with. And I think it came out pretty well. So uh, yeah. Now that's obviously not going to be the placement of the guns. I'm um, uh, going to use structure blocks to save a lot of time. But yeah, there you can see a size comparison. There you go. So that's the placement of the main batteries. And you, you would have a superstructure in the middle. So those batteries on the sides with full broadside, you wouldn't get, uh, what is it, six main batteries. Uh, firing at once well they're doubles you'd get three no four doubles and not eight wait fuck six uh, sorry i'm i'm stupid yeah uh, <laughs> i said i knew math in the last video apparently not but yeah and you could almost uh in the end result you could almost wait actually i think the firing angles are good enough to be able to fire um uh Three main batteries from the stern or from the bow, maybe the stern. I haven't done the rear substructure yet. Here you can see the detailing. Okay, so we're gonna go over that. And here, when here in the bow, we got double anchors on the starboard and one in the port. Uh, you can see some portholes. You can see those stairs down there. Those are supposed to make it look sort of like a armor belt or a torpedo bulge. Like, yeah. Also, here we got the casemates. Uh, I think they're supposed to be uh, 127 millimeter ish, somewhere around there. Secondary batteries. Again, this is a fictional ship. But they would rotate about 170 degrees. More of those here, more portals. And a anchor in the port side, not in the, sorry, the starboard side, not in the port side. But yeah, this episode is also going to be pretty short. Here you have the bow detail stunts so and the anchor chains. And, uh, yeah, it's, you can also see the railing it doesn't really match up with the slabs. Uh, and from it's only from certain angles that you start noticing it and actually think about it. Most of the time you don't see it. But it sort of bothers me, not gonna lie. And here you have the beginning of the front superstructure. You can see that red thing right there. That's just me marking out where the funnel is gonna be. There's gonna be two funnels on the ship, okay? I've actually already started recording uh, part three, which is going to be the final part, where I, where I do the mid superstructure and the stern, or the rear superstructure, and the rear details. But yeah, here you can see the front superstructure complete. You can see uh, the funnel, how it looks, right there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just flying around. There's also a mast there. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the design. 
Here you can see, uh, I'm like I'm thinking maybe 105 millimeters. Those casemates that are in the superstructure, two on each side, very tiny caliber in comparison with the other stuff. And that's the cunning tower that I just flew by. This just asked. Now that's the funnel. And I'm not really happy with this area right here. It's a bit too empty. You can see a spotlight right there. Uh, also, there's a range finder on top of the cunning tower. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's the video done. If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm just gonna fly around here. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed.